Most of that holiday stress is gone, but there is one thing left, and that's the stress we feel when we have to undecorate our tree. So to keep things stress-free, we start with a plan. We gather our friends and family members back together just as when we decorated the tree. We've got our storage containers, we've got our plan to get going, we're motivated, and we might even pour a cup of hot chocolate or another delightful beverage and get going. I continue to sort my ornaments then by size, taking the bigger ones off first. But now I've wor I'm working with the ones that are not breakable. And for ornaments that aren't breakable, I don't bother getting them back into individual compartments within containers. I have a larger container and I just put a lot of them in the same one. I'm about saving time and not wasting space. For my treasured ornaments that are breakable and more delicate, of course I want to pay special attention to that. I'll wrap them in tissue, I'll wrap them in bubble wrap, I'll put them in boxes that are more individualized, that they're not going to rattle together or cause any harm. So this is where you're going to spend a little more time and come up with a system for getting them uh, away from other ornaments where they can break it. Touching them to another ornament is definitely a no-no. Wrapping them with something that's going to buffer that is a great way to go. So now let's think about the ornaments you're not going to pack and place away. First on the top of that list, uh, take a look at any of those ornaments that maybe your children or grandchildren made for you, especially out of food items. Food items to be stored away in another area is not so good. The little critters can get to them. They're not going to be what you thought they were next year, so now's the time to let go of those gracefully. Maybe not in front of the children, but they're just not going to work. Think about some ornaments. Maybe you broke a piece off or, or something's wrong with them, or they're not to your taste anymore. Now's the time to let them go in the garbage or let them go to a charity and have someone else be able to use them for the future years. So now we are at the point where we're going to tackle those lights. This is a thing that for many of us we hate it. I know for me I don't like it at all. I grew up in a household where the women did the rest of the tree and the lights were for the men and I still have that mentality. I want to avoid it at all costs and if I could hire the men to come in and do it, great. But unfortunately, we have to deal with it. So a couple ways to deal with that are making, starting off by making sure that you still have lights that work and that they're usable and you're discarding any that are not in that shape. Secondly, let's get them stored in a fashion that you can find them again, that they're usable for next year. Some people like to have them individually wrapped by each section. Others don't mind having longer sections and having them wrapped together. Either way, make sure that they're tangle free and easy for you to access when you take on this project next year. So follow some of our undecorating tips now and have less stress while you're undecorating and of course you're going to have a better decorating year next year.